Number 220, YouTube Live Yoga Routine. Now, before we begin, I want to quickly talk about focus and the importance of focus. And I want to base this off of a quote by Nick, I mean by Thich Nhat Hanh. And his quote is more or less about anger and letting go of anger. But to let go of that anger, one focuses on his or her breath. And this is the quote. Anger is like a storm rising up from the bottom of your consciousness. When you feel it coming, turn your focus to your breath. Tick dot Han. Now, the part of the quote I want to focus on is turn your focus to your breath. In other words, don't focus on the anger or what led up to the anger. When you focus on the anger, you are becoming mine. You're in your thoughts and you'll stay angry. But when you focus on the breathing, you're watching yourself breathe. And then what happens is that you realize you are the thing that's watching yourself breathe. You are not your thoughts. You are the thing that's watching your thoughts. And you tap into openness. Boom. And that openness is yoga. And when you're in that openness, you become aware of the anger. You become aware of the things that led up to the anger. But since you're not focused on it, it's not becoming you. When you focus on it, you're allowing it to become you. But when you focus on the breathing, you tap into openness and you become aware of the anger and it stays over there. And you become aware of the things that led up to what could make you angry. So you're not becoming angry. You're aware of this energy that could become you that makes you angry. But it's all over there. That means you handle it. Now, just because you're aware of it and you don't let it become you doesn't mean you don't take care of it. You take care of the things that led up to that energy that could become anger. And that's what you're learning on the yoga mat, how to adjust, how to modify, how to focus and stay focused on the breathing. So when you're off the yoga mat and things lead up to something that could make you angry, you don't let it become you. So technically, you don't become angry. The energy of anger in a roundabout way, like in a Western philosophical way, the essence of Anger exists there because these events could lead up to what could make you anger, ang angry, but it doesn't because you don't let it become you. You focus on the breathing. And that is a, another component of the importance of focus. Yesterday we talked about focus. Today I talked about, fo I, I talked about focus. And tomorrow I'll talk about focus. And these are just bite-sized pieces of what focus is all about. And you'll collect them and you'll create this concept focus in regards to the yoga philosophy. And it's all pieces. You know, I could lecture about it, but it, it, you need pieces of it and you need time and it needs to become part of a mindset. You can't teach a mindset. You experience a mindset. And you experience a mindset by when you're off the yoga mat and you're driving down the street going to work today and you see an event happen that would make you angry, usually makes you angry. Don't let it make you angry. Not by just, hey, I'm not going to get angry. Focus on the breathing. And then you tap into this openness and then you just realize, hey, you're just driving down the street. Why am I getting angry? You know, and there are things in life that make you angry. You know, 
And what you do with that is just see the anger. You experienced it. You handle it. You take care of it. And you don't let it happen again. And if it happens again, you take care of it and you adjust. That's what you're learning on the yoga mat. When I say modify a pose or adjust or you do this and that, that's what you're learning. So when you're off the yoga mat, you're doing the same thing in the real world. You know, a lot of times in yoga, we get caught up on you're not supposed to feel anger or you're not supposed to be this way or you're not supposed to. No, man, you handle it's time to, you know, it's time to go after something. There's a time to lay back. There's a time. It's all timing. It's all timing. So if something happens today and you get angry, hey, I'm angry. No, nope, focus on the breathing and the anger goes boom. You know, um, I've been angry before. I'm not really an angry person. Um, I, of course, I've been ang angry before. And, um, you know, two weeks later, you're not even angry. For me, an uh, hour later, I'm not even angry. So why even be angry in the first place? That's how I think for myself. So adjust, keep it over there, the negative things. Don't let them become you by not focusing on them and just focus on the breathing. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to focus on the breathing 100% focus on the breathing. I'm going to put my glasses down. And we're just going to continue to do the mount pose, four sun salutations, moving in the sun salutations, focusing 100% on the breathing, staying focused on the breathing, opening up. When the body's opening up, you're inhaling slowly. And then when you close up, that'll be the counter pose in the sun salutation. You exhale slowly. And inhale slowly, exhale slowly. Focus 100% on the breathing and letting that sun salutation or those sun salutations become a form of a moving meditation. So when you're off the yoga mat, you're moving throughout the day and you're staying in a meditative state, a moving meditative state. So when I get off the yoga mat, I go here, I click click my computer, get it all off, and then I go, and I try to move throughout the day. My kids start school again today, and, you know, keep it. Does it fear? Do I go off? Yeah, of course. Yeah. And then I just bring it back, because that's what we're doing on the mat. On the yoga mat, your mind wanders, and then you just bring it back. Same thing in so-called real world. You're throughout the day, you're at work, you're doing something, your mind wanders, but just bring it back. Stay focused. Stay in the present moment. And then we'll seal it up with a Yoga seal. So we'll go in the easy pose, do some movements and stretches in the easy pose, and then seal it up with the yoga seal. <clears throat> I still have my cough, but it's getting better every day. Progression. Is that progression? Yeah. Yeah, that would be progression. So I'm doing a lot. I'm doing a lot. All praises to God. I'm just joking. All praises to God. Yep. That's me. Or it would be just nature taking care of myself, taking care of me. No. So just focus on the breathing, 100% focus on the breathing. So you're going to go to mountain pose, feet are shoulder width apart, toes go up, spread the toes as wide as you can. Each toe touches the floor one at a time. Knees are bent, hips are tilted, arms are relaxed, shoulders relax, and then you're going to lengthen up. So pull up the skeleton. And then let the bones of the skeleton stand as if you were just your skeleton. So no skin, no, no muscle, no tendons, no fat, nothing's on your body. Just the skeleton is standing. You're finding that spot. You're finding that spot where the skeleton just stands. So you're finding that stability in the skeleton. Becoming one. Just like a mountain is one with the earth, you're also one with the earth. Tap it into that mindset of oneness. Palms together, thumbs to the heart center, push the arms out, up and back, inhale, it's the first stretch, so you go nice and easy, and then you're going to exhale, as you exhale, you hinge forward from the lower back, palms are going to the calves, elbows into the sides of the legs, foreheads going to the knees, you're pulling yourself in and down, nice and easy though, exhaling slowly, get all the air out, 
And then the left leg goes back into a low lunge. With a low lunge, top the foot to the floor, knees to the floor. Hips are square, pushing forward diagonally, back is arching. You're inhaling slowly. <coughs> and then you're gonna go to a high lunge just for a second or so. So curl the toes under in the back, knee goes straight, or leg goes straight, downward dog, pushing into it. Exhaling slowly. <coughs> Arms are straight, legs are straight. <clears throat> and then you're going to slide into the upper dog. Drop down to the knees and the chest. You slide up. Tops of the feet are to the floor and palms are to the floor. So only tops of the feet and palms. Modify the pose how you have to. Inhaling slowly. Then exhale. As you exhale, arms are straight, legs are straight. Tailbone should seal on. Heels are towards the floor. You are pushing into the pose. Exhaling, the left foot is up between the hands, low lunge, with a low lunge, up the foot to the floor in the back, knees to the floor, hips square, pushing forward di diagonally, back is arching, inhaling, curl the toes under the back, knee goes up, high lunge just for a second or so, then standing forward bend, pull yourself in and down, get all there out. <coughs> and the cough. Coffin, inhale, and then exhale. Three more, palms together, inhale, exhale, hinge forward, palms go to the calves, elbows into the sides of the legs, pull yourself in and down, get all there out. You're exhaling slowly, and then left leg is back. Low lunge, opening up, feeling opened. Focusing 100% on the breathing. Think of nothing else but the breathing. Downward dog. Exhale. Get all there out. <coughs> Inhale. Upper dog. How to cough through a yoga routine. And then exhale. Downward dog. And then left foot is up. Inhale. Exhale, standing forward bend. <clears throat> Arms together, reach out, up and back. Inhale. And then go do two more. Inhale. Then exhale. Inch forward, pull yourself in and down. Get all there out. Left leg is back. Inhale. Low lunge. Exhale. <clears throat> Inhale, upper dog. Exhale, downward dog. Left foot is up. Inhale. Low lunge. Standing forward, bend. Palms together, reach out of the back. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Left leg is back. Inhale. Focus it. Focus it. Focusing on the breathing. Downward dog. Exhale. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Left foot is up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And then exhale. You're going to go to mountain pose. Mountain pose, feet are shoulder width apart. Spread the toes, pick the toes up. And each toe touches the floor one at a time. Knees are bent, hips are tilted, arms are relaxed, shoulders are relaxed. <coughs> and just focus on the breathing. 
thinking of nothing else but of the breathing. So you lengthen up and let the bones sit on top of each other. And just watch yourself breathe. And this is what you're learning. You're learning how to watch yourself breathe. So like I was explaining in the beginning, you watch yourself breathe, you learn it on the mat, you train yourself to be able to do it on the mat. You train yourself by going into a pose and moving through the yoga routine by focusing on the breathing the entire time. And your mind wanders, you train it to bring it back, train it to bring it back, you train it to bring it back. Also, when you're off the yoga mat in the so-called real world, an event that happens that might make you angry, you're able to focus on the breathing. You don't focus on the anger or, I guess, the thing that leads up to the anger or could lead up to anger. You become aware of it. You handle it just like you're doing it on the yoga mat. You're handling it. You're adjusting. You're learning all this on the yoga mat. You're going to go to easy pose. Now, easy pose is the modification of the lotus. <clears throat> and I've, I've been going easy the last mm, six days or so, five days. Not easy, but haven't been doing the uh, triangle poses and stuff like that. Just because I'm under the weather a little bit. You know, I'm getting better, but every day is better, but I still... I don't want to stress my body out. <clears throat> it's all about me. It's all about me. No, it's just, it is all about me. No, just joking, joking, joking. So back is straight. Hands are to your knees. Maybe in your lap. Some people put them in their lap. If you need to lean back because you get tightness in the back or your back gets fatigued, then lean back. Go against the wall. Put one leg out. Both legs out. doesn't matter. <laughs> just get it. Comfortable, it's easy pose, so make it easy. And just focus on the breathing. And remember, you're focusing on the breathing here by watching yourself breathe. And you watch yourself breathe by having your focus on the belly. When you inhale, the belly expands with air, pushes the belly out. When you exhale, the belly goes in. Or you bring your focus to the tip of the nose, and watch the air go in and out. You're not controlling it. You're already breathing automatically. So you're just going to watch it. Now bring the... I'm sorry. I got, I'm, I'm ahead of myself. You're going to tilt the head to the right. That's the next pose. This will be the next one. <clears throat> right ears to the right shoulder. Left shoulders down. Back is straight. You're focused on the breathing, 100% focus on the breathing. And when you're focused on the breathing, you become aware of what's being stretched. You're becoming aware of what's happening in the body. Very important because when you're off the yoga mat, you're focused on the breathing, you're becoming aware of what's happening around you. You're becoming aware of the things that lead up to anger or upset or being upset. You know, those things exist. It's not that they don't exist. They exist. When you feel it, you recognize it. But you don't let it become you. That's what you're doing here. You're focusing on the breathing. You're aware of the stretch, but you're not letting it become you. You're just focusing. You're just stretching. And what happens, this becomes... Meditation. So right hand goes to the side of the head. Let the weight of the arm bring the head down. <clears throat> You're just going to rela release. Rela can't speak. Release the tension in the arm. <coughs> and let the weight of the arm bring the head down. Left shoulder stays down. And you just focus on the breathing. 100% focus on the breathing. Think of nothing else but of the breathing. And when you do, it heightens your awareness. It lets you feel the stretch. It lets you feel what's happening in the back. Maybe your back is getting fatigued. And if it is, just lean back. You adjust. Don't fight it. Don't, don't think, hey, I'm, I'm going to stick this out. I'm going to do it. 
Nope, that's not what we're doing. That's a form of yoga. People do that, but that's not what we're doing. Yoga is allowing the mind and body to become one and go ahead and release. And if you're fighting, that fighting is between the mind and the body. You need to get rid of that so the mind and body becomes one. It's a mindset. So tilt the head to the left, left ears to the left shoulder, right shoulders down, back is straight, and just focus on the breathing. 100% focus on the breathing. Now, if I wasn't teaching or instructing this cough, I would just go with it. You know, I mean, I'm going with it now, but it wouldn't even disturb my, my, my focus on my breathing. It would just be become where I adjust and I modify it and I have to go clear my throat. We just go with it. Now, of course, I don't always do it. My mind wanders all the time. When I bring it back, mind wanders, I bring it back. Mind wanders, I bring it back. No one's special. I'm not special. Not special. We're doing yoga together. We're in this together, man. Some guy doing yoga for some odd reason at 5:30. So left hands to the side of the head. Let the weight of the arm bring the head down. So you release the arm, all the tension in the arm. Right shoulders down, and you just focus on the breathing. You focus 100% on the breathing. It heightens your awareness. It lets you feel those stretch on the right side of the neck. It lets you feel if your back is straight. It lets you feel what's happening in the body. It lets you feel stable. If you're feeling unstable, just get stable. Feel stability. Find that stability so you, you feel stable. When you feel stable, your body will adjust to become stable. Feel it. Feel it. It's there. You gotta feel it first. Then go ahead and release. As the center, <coughs> back is straight. Then you tilt the head back. <coughs> head is going back, but the chin is going straight up. <coughs> I tell you, the neck rope, the neck. When I do the neck, it pushes on my my throat. That's what makes me cough more. And I clear, I clean my throat. Did all that stuff. And then take knuckles, place them under the chin, pushing up. <clears throat> and just focus on the breathing. Thinking of nothing else but the breathing. And go ahead and drop the head down. Chin's going to the chest. Back straight. Cross the fingers together. <clears throat> bring the back of the hand, no, back of the hands. Bring the, the palms to the back of the head. Let the weight of the arms bring the head down. So release the tension of the arms, keeping the back straight. And just focus on the breathing. One hundred percent focus on the breathing. Go ahead and release that center. Neck rolls, drop the head to the right, down and around. When the head drops down and goes around, you're exhaling. As the head goes up and back, you're inhaling. <coughs> I think talking doesn't help. Talking really is messing up my, my congestion on oh, my throat. Sickness was in my house. And then when you go to the top, you reverse, exhale as you go down, and around, inhale as you go up. My kids got sick first. And I got sick. I thought I was going to beat it, man. I was like, man, everybody got sick but me. Yay. And then boom. I'm like, what? And my wife doesn't get sick. I don't know what's up with that. She never gets sick from the kids. She gets sick, but not from the kids ever. <clears throat> and then when the head goes to the top, bring yourself to the center. Shoulders shrug, shoulders to the ears, back down around. When shoulders go up, you're inhaling. If they go back and down, you're exhaling. And just focus on the breathing, thinking of nothing else but of the breathing. And 
And the shoulders go to the ears. You're going to reverse. Exhale as you go down and around. Inhale as you go up. Again, linking the movement with the breathing. Focus 100% on the breathing. Think of nothing else but the breathing. <coughs> and then bring the shoulders to the center. Terrible yoga routine, especially when it's live and a video and keep on coughing. My mic is right there. Probably loud. I don't even know if it's loud. It is what it is, man. So, trunk rotations, dropping down to the right, down and around. When you go down and around, the back is straight, and you're reaching out, and you're exhaling. As you're going up, you're inhaling, and you're focusing 100% on the breathing, linking the movement with the breathing, thinking of nothing else but of the breathing. <clears throat> And then we go to the top. You're going to reverse. Exhale as you go down and around, reaching out, keeping the back straight. Exhale all there out. And then we go to the top. You're inhaling, linking the movement with the breathing, thinking of nothing else but the breathing. Go to the top, you're gonna to bring yourself to center. <coughs> and just focus on breathing. Do nothing else but the breathing. I have spinal twist, left hands on the right knee, right arm goes up, think of the spine, pull yourself up, then you twist, palm goes forward in the back, arm is straight, and it's against the back. Head is twisting and make sure you're twisting the head and you're focusing 100% on the breathing and you're letting yourself breathe. So when you inhale, the belly swells with air and it pushes you out of the pose slightly. When you exhale, you go back into the pose, focusing on the breathing, becoming aware of that subtle movement, but you're not focused on it. You're focusing on the breathing. And then release, the center. Then the other side. So right hands on the left knee, left arm goes up, pull yourself up. Then you twist, palm goes to the floor, side of the back, arm is straight, and it's against the back. And make sure the head is twisting. And you focus 100% on the breathing, thinking of nothing else but of the breathing. And you're letting yourself breathe. So when you inhale, your belly swells with air, pushes you out of the pose slightly. Let yourself be pushed out. And when you exhale, you go back into the pose. <coughs> and just focus 100% on breathing. Forget about me coughing. Be like, man, oh boy, keeps on coughing. And then go ahead and release. If I was teaching a class, I wouldn't even go to the class. I'm not contagious. I'm not anymore. Might have been, you know, a few days ago, but I'm not now. But I still wouldn't go to a class because nobody wants an instructor or another participant to cough. Stay home. Stay home. <clears throat> but I'm in my garage by myself. You're just going to go to easy pose, hands are in front to your knees and your lap, or maybe you're leaning back. Whatever you do, just focus on the breathing, thinking of nothing else but of the breathing. And remember, you're watching yourself breathe. You're already breathing automatically, so you're just going to watch it. And think of nothing else but of the breathing. <coughs> Should have took some medicine before I... I did this today, but I didn't. You're going to reach behind you, grab the left wrist with the right hand. You're going to lean forward for the yoga seal. So the forehead's going down towards the floor or it's to the floor. You're sealing in all the benefits of the yoga poses, keeping the peace that you gained through the rest of the day.
You know, bring yourself back up. Hands come back in front. <clears throat> and just focus on the breathing. Watch yourself breathe. We're just going to stay here a little bit longer. So just watch yourself breathe. Think of nothing else but the breathing. Focus 100% on the breathing. And pause the other. The rest of it. And that's it. That's number 220 YouTube Live Yoga Routine. I got through it with a cough. <coughs> that's all right, man. That's all right. I got through it. If I wasn't talking, I probably wouldn't be coughing or coughing as much, but something with the talking. So. I will see you tomorrow at 5.30 a.m. Arizona time, Mount Center time. So, namaste, peace and love. <clears throat>